is up YouTube. It is June fourteenth uh, today. Uh, the only thing I've got going on is uh, I managed to get home a little bit early. Um, had a bunch going on at work and uh, finished up a little bit early, so decided to come home. Got everything uh, taken care of that I needed to. Uh, tripped the lows, took a few things back. As now it's time for me to uh, throw down a little bit of malorganite. Um, it's getting into fairly hot weather now. We didn't have much of a spring. It went from raining a lot and about 70 degrees to being about 90, 95 degrees out. Uh, Father's Day is coming up on Sunday and it's calling to be about 95 degrees. Um, so with that, I do not want to put down a heavy application of Morganite because I am not wanting to put down um, so much that I'm going to be uh, causing growth in, in the lawn. Um, I, don't, I don't want to cause any more stress on, on the lawn than what the heat's already going to be doing. So instead, I want to do uh, what many refer to as spoon feeding. Um, so I'm going to do about a, a, about a half rate of the Morganite. Uh, getting tongue tied today. Um, so about half application. Uh, so I'm going to be setting a, I have a, a Scott's uh, edge guard spreader. Typically the Morganite calls for about 11 and a half. Uh, I'm instead going to put it down about five. That should give me roughly um, almost a half a pound of nitrogen per thousand. So I'm going to put that down and see what I can do with that and uh, try to keep the uh, lawn getting a little bit green and uh, try to keep the lawn from growing too much on me though. So this is what I have been storing on the side of my garage. I have to put everything on this side because I cannot block the wife's side of the garage because she will kill me if she cannot park in the garage. So I have 10 bags that I managed to come across. Uh, my local Lowe's right down the street from me has been out for some time. The Home Depot was out. Um, so this past Saturday, I was at my father-in-law's house, and he was uh, talking about possibly using Morganite. He had a couple bags, um, and I saw where he was kind of getting a little bit of striping. Uh, so I don't know if he was over uh, overlapping himself too much or what he was doing. Um, so he was saying he wasn't seeing a whole lot, but uh, uh, we went down to uh, the lowest by his house. They had 19 bags in stock. Uh, unfortunately, two of the bags were busted, so we bought the other 17 bags, so we pretty much bought them out. Um, so I took the 10, he took the 7, and uh, the awesome thing is they matched the Fleet Farm $6 sale here in Cincinnati. These bags of Malorganite are about $12.67 a bag, so getting it for $6, which is over half price, was freaking amazing. Um, so the 10 bags that I got was actually cheaper than what I pay for my normal six bags to do my 15,000 square feet. So I should have enough if I'm spoon feeding to last a whole summer and an application uh, later on in the fall, uh, probably around late September.
finished uh, with spreading the fertilizer on the backyard. I've got, I see that's roughly about a half bag, maybe a little less. And the backyard is roughly 3,500 square feet. Um, just kind of ballparking it. Uh, I have a uh, figure with the pool and everything, trying to subtract it. And I did the uh, the online calculator, you know, doing the, the Google map view of it and trying to draw everything out, figure out the square footage. So it's roughly 3,500 square foot. 3,500 square foot per bag is the recommended rate. And I have about half bag, so it's about half rate. So I think we should be good. I thing I did want to uh, mention real quick while I was thinking about it, since I mentioned putting down um, half rates and getting half pound per thousand of nitrogen down, um, I'm get, still getting a little bit of iron down there. Um, not as much and this is probably where a liquid iron supplement coming in uh, would be beneficial um, many out there use ironite in the granular form and put that down I am NOT an advocate of that uh, just because it naturally has arsenic in it it does not say anywhere on the bag but the EPA actually the Cincinnati EPA had done reports on it stating that it had unsafe amounts of arsenic in it so I do not use it because I have a dog, I have kids. I do not want them being around that. So there is a um, liquid iron supplements that you can put down that does not have that arsenic in it. And that's why I probably will eventually be putting down uh, maybe here in the next month. All right, so I had finished going through putting the malorganite down. Uh, I had the spreader setting set to five in hopes I was gonna get close to the half pound of nitrogen per thousand square feet. Um, as I went through, I end up using a total of about two and a half bags of malorganite. Uh, so I put something at 90 pounds of fertilizer that I put down over 15,000 square foot. So doing the math, 90 pounds divided by 15, it's roughly six pounds per thousand square foot. And then divide that by 6%, it was about just over a third of a pound of nitrogen per thousand square foot so I was a little bit off on that um, wh which is fine I'd rather be under than over uh, going into the summer months putting down the uh, the nitrogen because I don't want to uh, try to push that growth uh, more than I, I really need to so thinking about that so I would next time I could possibly bump it up a little bit more I use two and a half bags. I would actually need to use closer to maybe about three and a third bag to get me at uh, just under a half pound of nitrogen per thousand. That'd be 0.48 to be exact, uh, where I'd be at, which I'm fine with that. That's if it's eight pounds per thousand. Um, so I think I might do that. The spreader setting is set to five, so I'll bump it up a little bit more. Um, I don't want to go crazy and flip my, my spurter up to like 10 or 11 or something because then I'm going almost bag rate. Uh, so I'll, I might bump it up to maybe about 7 and that might get me a little bit closer to that half pound per night, half pound per thousand. Um, so we'll see what that one goes, but that'll be about another three and a half, four weeks out. Uh, so we'll see what the, uh, the lung looks like here in the next uh, week or so with the, the third pound. Uh, per thousand of nitrogen put down and we'll see what we got alright guys so one more quick thing I do have a, uh, a little bit of a surprise coming here and next week the, the wife doesn't even know about it because I bought it uh, while I was uh, working um, so she doesn't know about it but it should be here in about uh, about a week um, hopefully it's going to make the uh, the lawn look a little bit nicer um, as well as uh, a few more chemicals coming in. I've got some crabgrass coming in. Um, my, uh, my wipeout isn't quite doing the job, and it's getting into the summer months, so putting them down the 2,4-D, I don't want to be doing because it is getting over the, uh, the recommended temperatures. So I bought some straight-up quinclorac to uh, put in my, in my hand can. <coughs> Excuse me. So I'm going to be getting that, try to put that down, as well as uh, some Pro Sedge. I have a little bit of nuts edge in the backyard, um, a tiny bit in the front, but I want to kill that off. I've been fighting it for about two years now. Um, obviously, just pulling it isn't doing anything because the nutlets down there are still uh, growing and spreading. So I want to kill these off uh, completely. So I have some pro sedge on the way. Uh, so we'll see what that'll do. And as always, like, comment, subscribe. 
and I'll see you in the next video.